drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. And right off the bat, I tied, getting two more power cells from the field. And working with Citrus Circuits, dump those into the upper power port, already energizing. And just absolutely dominating the match. It's 69 to 18. Red Alliance. The Circuit Breakers on the Blue Alliance trying to stem the tide, grabbing some power cells from the Red Alliance sector. They're moving up to their protected zone. Flying Aces, 4711, getting themselves unstuck from a power cell. The Storps able to counter defense. Flying Aces pushing them out of the way. High Tide with that turreted shooter can launch those power cells from almost any angle and score four effortless, effortlessly, making it 103 to 18. Oh, it looks like the Citrus Circuits have a piece of their robot that has come loose and is dragging. And I'm also hearing grind gears grinding from that area of the field. I don't know which team it is. But with that, the Red Alliance has enabled the second stage of the power. Let's see if they're going to activate the control panel. Oh, here comes High Tide. They're spinning it. One, two. Let's see if they can get it for the third. And they do. That's an extra 10 points for the Red Alliance. And with 30 seconds left in the match, it's time for these robots to ascend and activate the shield generator. 4711 hot. The Flying Aces, their robot has some grinding coming from it, but here come the circuit breakers with their robot. And they can they keep it up? Oh, they are dangling, but they are hanging. And time expires. Red Alliance has powers up the shield and defense for City with a score of 195 to 61.